Yesterday, Martine said her TPMS sensor light came on. Um, so we pulled over and um, put some air in the tire and uh, I took a look around it and found this. So now I'm going to take the tire off and plug the hole. Gotta get the keys to uh, move it into the garage first. You gotta make sure you uh, jack it up at the right jack point, uh, which on this CRV is right here. If you wanna make sure you get it right on that, uh, that piece that's sticking down there, that's your, that's your uh, jack point. <clears throat> oh, that was it just falling into the slot on the uh, jack. And it doesn't have to be like way up. You just need to get it off the ground. So that's maybe two inches uh, off the ground. And I'll just leave it here. So the next thing I have to do is uh, take off these lugs, which I think is uh, 21 millimeter. I'm not sure, I'm gonna try 21. Nope, that's too big. 19 millimeter. I probably should have, uh, before jacking it up, I should have used my uh, breaker bar to break these loose, but we'll try it with the uh, impact gun, see if it, they come off. So that's our culprit right there. So the next thing I'm gonna try and do is um, just take a pair of pliers and um, uh, and just try to pull the nail out. I don't know. We'll see um, if I can get a grip on it. It's pretty flat there. Um, I almost feel like I should use like a like a nail like a nail puller, <laughs> you know, one of those uh, nail, uh, whatever you call those things. I'm like blanking on the word. Pry bar? Yeah, pry bar. We should maybe use a pry bar to pull the nail out. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll try that. Just gonna move this stuff. Okay, bar. Ah, this'll work perfect. So once I pull that nail out relatively quickly, I'm gonna wanna uh, plug the hole. Um, so when the nail's out, I don't wanna be looking for all my tools to like plug the hole. So I'll need, um, they call it a, a reamer um, to make the hole a little bit bigger and uh, and then I'll need my my plugs and uh, and the plug injector tool. I don't know what you call that thing, but um, so I'll dig those out uh, of the mess here <clears throat> and get them handy. 
There's the plugs. And that's the uh, reaming tool. And that's the plug injector thing. You can try that out. I'm doing this fix in the uh, garage and it's like one of the most humid days we've had so far this summer. So as this video goes on, I'm gonna get sweatier and sweatier. And I wore like my good, well, <laughs> not good clothes, but new clothes. So I'm gonna try and do this fix without getting too dirty. Um, but we'll do a, we'll do an after and see uh, uh, how dirty I am at the end of this thing. I always get dirty whenever I like do anything on cars. It's like inevitable. So there's the nail. Um, I guess I'll try and just get under it. They, these things can shoot out too, depending on like how light it is and how much air pressure is in the tire. I've had things shoot out before. So if I can get under it and just kind of keep my hand over top of it as I pull it, it should uh, keep it in place at least. Wow, it's a long nail, jeez. Well, I gotta use a little bit of leverage, I guess. So that was the, uh, the nail that went into her tire. I don't know how she picked that up, but. Now take my uh, reaming tool, and just make the hole a little bit bigger so that our plug sticks in it. Okay, so I'll just plug that up with the reaming tool. And then you wanna grab a, a plug from here. <laughs> when you buy plugs, it comes in a package with like a million. I don't think I'll ever go through all these. And the plug, you just kind of uh, stick through this tool. At least this is what I do. I don't know if this is the right way or not, but how I do it. Take it through this tool and pull it out about halfway and the tool is slotted so the idea is you put it, put it into the hole and then when you pull it out the hole grips the uh, the, pl the plug and then the, the tool slips off so anyway we'll give it a go. Yeah, so that seemed to work. So that's basically what you get. You get this kind of gunky gooey, um, gooey mess here. So what I usually do is I'll grab like my X-Acto knife and kind of just cut it, um, cut it flat. <laughs> it's pretty sticky. I probably used this knife for this already. So you just kind of saw off the, the extra. Yeah, and that's it. That's what you're left with. So um, then I'll just have to fill it back up with air uh, to the right PSI. And uh, that should last a little while. She needs new tires anyway. They're, uh, the wear, wear bar is pretty, um, pretty close to the tread there. So, uh, but this will get her through probably until she get some new tires. Okay, so I'm gonna put them back on. <laughs> Jeez, the car has been, has been lowered this whole time. I don't know, I must have. Release the jack. I must have released the jack or something. <laughs> <clears throat> and then the 
idea here is you want to do them in a crisscross pattern, but you don't want to put them on super tight. Just kind of loose until, until you get them uh, all on there. You don't want to cross thread them either. <clears throat> and then as I, uh, the idea is you just get them on there until you can kind of hold the wheel tight against the hub. <clears throat> and then I can release the jack and, uh, let it back down on the tire. Sure, doing that slower, but that works too. Um, and then I'll have to torque these down to whatever uh, the spec is for this 08 CRV. Um, I usually just use Google for that, and uh, and then I'll I'll uh, fill it back up with with air. <clears throat> and then you want to also um, like after you've driven on it for 100 kilometers or something like that, you want to come back and just retorque them again because they can kind of wiggle loose if the tire has any play in it. So quick Google search uh, says that the torque spec for an 08 CRV is uh, 80 foot pounds. Um, so I have a um, torque wrench here and uh, 80 foot pounds is believable. Uh, I think my, my car is like 90 some odd foot pounds. So it's always in and around that range. So I'll torque them down to 80 foot pounds and uh, I'll adjust my wrench here and, and uh, and bring it up to 80. So lucky me, it was already set to 80. So I just need to uh, torque them down now. This takes an extension to uh, to do this. So you just wanna go in a crisscross pattern. You just turn it until you feel a click. Like that. And then go up to the next one. That's done. So now I just have to fill this back up with uh, air pressure. Uh, the PSI is 30 PSI for this car. Um, so I'll do that now. So for filling up the tire again, um, I have this like uh, little 12 volt um, tire pump, air pump. And uh, it's really good. Like you can just kind of fit it in the trunk of the car or whatever, if you're going on a road trip or something and uh, just have some peace of mind that if you do get a slow leak or something along your way, you can uh, keep your tire pressure um, filled up with this. So just plugs into your cigarette lighter in the car and uh, it is a little slow to, to get up to pressure, but it's better than nothing. And I always like keep the car running so that I don't run down the battery while I'm filling up the tire and create another problem for myself. There's just a little switch on the side here. A few moments later. Put the cap back on here. We'll call this job done. So, um, yeah, we just had about uh, 20 PSI there, so we had to go up about 10 PSI. It took about two minutes, maybe, uh, using that pump, but pretty handy to have. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Uh, I just wanted to do a short video. This is my first video on YouTube. Uh, I'm sure I'll look back on this uh, after doing uh, more videos and, and cringe at how, uh, <laughs> how lame it was. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and if you found it, interesting uh give me a like i'd really appreciate it well, i don't know a little sweaty my uh shorts got a little bit sweaty and my knees are all dirty um i'd probably give it a six out of ten for uh dirtiness i didn't stay clean that's for sure thanks for watching and uh we'll see you on the next video